Okay, hello all. Uh, in this video, we will talk something about the intermediate question that you will face in your future. Uh, about the corresponding angles, congruent triangle, and about the corresponding size of congruent triangles. So make sure that you know how to do this question. Okay, now we will go to, to uh, the first example that is teaching example 9.1. So I give you time to do the correct practice 9.1 for yourself. Okay, now let's look at the answer of this. For teaching example, we know that the, uh, the place Therefore, the uh, congruent the not the place of the letters of the congruent triangle are very important because for A is equal to D, for B is equal to E, for C is equal to F. So we are going to find out the unknown x, y, z. Okay, why don't we do it one by one? First of all, we have x. X is here, so this is angle A, B, C. So we write that angle A, B, C. And if we follow the instruct uh, the orders of this, A, B, C is the first, the second, and the third. So it will be equal to the Angle D, E, F. The first, the second, and the third. D, E, F. So this one is equal to 56 degree. It's direct the answer. A uh, direct answer. That is corresponding angles, congruent triangles. So this is the first one I want you to know. For Y, for Y, it is equal to A, C, B. Angle A, C, B. So we are going to find the A, C, B. First, third, and second. First, and the second that is angle D F E. D F E. So this one is 65 degree. Once again, corresponding angles, congruent triangles. Okay, the last one is the Z. The Z is equal to E F. Z is equal to E F. And then we know that E F is equal to B C. So this one is equal to 7. Okay, S C M is equal to 7 cm. This is corresponding size congruent triangles. So we write down Z is equal to 7 for the conclusion. So this is a teaching example 9.1. And now please do the quick practice 9.1 for yourself and I will only tell you the answer. Okay, so make sure that you know how to do it. Okay, now we will discuss the answer for you all. I'll just write down the answer. A is obviously 120 degrees. Okay, I don't know tell you the reason. For B, that will be 6. For C, that will be 5. So you can solve the problem directly for the correct practice 9.1. Okay, now we will go to the teaching example 9.2 for you all. And you will do the correct practice 9.2. Okay, now let's look at this one. For X... We're going to find out is unknown. XCM is equal to PR this time. So why don't we look at that? PR in this triangle triangle is equal to the first two letters. So that must be AB. So let's look at AB. The length of ABR is 2CM. So this one is 2CM. The reason corresponding size congruent triangles. Okay, so we solve it directly. So X is equal to 2 immediately. And for Y, you will see Y is equal to angle PQR, okay? PQR. So this is the first letter, the third letter, and the second letter. So that must be equal to angle A, first letter, third letter is C, and last, the second letter is B, so angle A, C, B. So A, C, B, R, oh, this one is luckily a 90 degree, okay? Corresponding angles, congruent triangles. Finish this part. And the last one is that, Z is equal to angle QPR. So we have angle QPR. So QPR is the last one, the first one, and the second one. Okay, the last one is CAB. So the angle is CAB. So angle CAB, oh, this one Z is equal to 60 degree. So the reason is corresponding angles, congruent triangles. One second. So this is the answer for teaching example 9.2. And now it's the turn that you are going to find out the quick the answer of quick practice 9.2. Okay, I will give you 15 seconds once again.
Okay, now we will give you the answer. For A, you will see the answer directly is 6.3. And for B, this is 6.7. And finally, for C, the angle is 66 degrees. So I hope you all know how to do these questions. And last, we will go to the last teaching example. That is teaching example 9.3. Okay, now we look at this in the figure. ACD and BC is a straight line, and AD is perpendicular to AB. So that means this one is 90 degree. And triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. So we're going to find the angle ACB first. Okay, now we will look at this one. It's not easy for you to find ACB because we do not know the answer of this one. Ah, but you can say something that if I know that the angle for uh, this one is 90 degrees, so that we can solve it directly. Or we know that if this one is 25 degrees, we can find ACB directly. So why don't we find out this one is 25 degrees? Obviously, right, we can write something like this. Angle A, B, C. This is what we want. And we want this is 25 degrees. So angle A, B, C is equal for the congruent triangle ABC start right here. angle DEC DEC so this one is 25 degree the reason is corresponding angles congruent triangles so then we can say this is 25 degree so if you want to find out angle ACB angle ACB so that you are going to use angle sum of triangle you add 90 degree and at 25 degree and you will get 180 degree this is angle sum of triangle. So once again, you will see chapter 11 and even the chapter, uh, you must learn something that in the chapter four, uh, chapter six, not chapter 11, because angle sum of triangle, you will learn it in chapter six. So that you will learn something and then we will go to chapter nine once again. So angle ACB will equal to 65 degrees. So you can solve the problem easily. And finally, I want you to find out the BE. And BE is the longer length of it. So that means you know the CE and you only know, need to know is BC. Obviously, BC is equal to 6 cm because once again, it's congruent. So we write down BC for part B. BC is here. It's equal to EC. It's equal to 6 cm. That is the corresponding size congruent triangles. So you then they both of them are 6 cm. So BE, finally, we know that is BC plus EZ. So this is 6 plus 6. Oh, sorry. This is 12 cm. We can solve the problem directly. So this is the teaching practice 9.3. And now you're going to do the quick practice 9.3 by yourself. You're going to first of all find the AD. And finally, you must find angle DCA. Also, this one is the angle DCA. You must know the answer for it. Okay, now I will give 30 seconds for you to do this question. Okay, now I will tell you the answer. For part A, you will see AD is equal to 4 cm directly. And for part B, you will see angle DCA will equal to 70 degree. Okay, so this one you can directly find out something uh, by the congruent triangles. So you will see all the chapter 9 to chapter 6 and even the chapter 11. What you have learned these three chapters they can link together. So make sure that you know how to do this question one by one. So that's all of the uh, this video. So make sure that you know how to know the what to know that a congruent triangle and use the congruent triangle to find out the values of it.